Princess Layla, the Archer. In the sunlit gardens of Castle Glendora, Princess Layla performed her royal duties with grace, but missed adventure. As she gracefully danced through the roses and lilies, her gaze often drifted to the grand archery range beyond the palace walls. If only I could be an archer, she whispered, clutching an arrowhead pendant around her neck. One evening, as the stars began to twinkle, a fiery glow filled the sky. A majestic phoenix descended upon the kingdom square, capturing everyone's attention. Hear me, brave souls of Glendora, it declared with her heavy voice. A grand tournament shall test the skill of archers far and wide. Layla's heart leaped. This was her chance. By the moon's silver glow, Layla visited the archery range. Alone she practiced, revealing a natural talent for the bow. Each arrow she released hit the target, striking the center with a very satisfying sound. She marveled at her own skill, a secret smile gracing her lips. In the royal stables, Layla talked to her loyal friend Sir Whiskers, a wise old cat with a warrior spirit about her love for archery and how much she wanted to learn it. You must follow your heart, young princess, he purred. I shall teach you the art of the bow. Each night, under Sir Whiskers' watchful eye, Layla's archery skill grew. As the tournament drew near, Layla made a promise to herself and said excitedly, I will enter the tournament and win. Sir Whiskers nodded approvingly. But you must keep this a secret, he advised. Archery has not been practiced by princesses till now. With the help of her animal friends, Layla crafted a disguise for herself. She wore a cloak of emerald green color and a mask adorned with feathers. I shall be known as the Emerald Archer in the tournament, she declared, her eyes sparkling with excitement. The day of the tournament arrived, and archers from across the lands gathered in a line on the tournament grounds. Everyone looked curiously at the Emerald Archer, wondering who he was. Layla took her place, her heart pounding with anticipation. The competition was fierce. With each round, the targets moved further away, but Layla's arrows found their mark. The crowd cheered, their claps growing for this mysterious newcomer. As the final round approached, the phoenix presented a challenge. It made an announcement. The last target shall only reveal itself to an archer pure of heart and true of spirit. A silence fell over the crowd. The archer searched for the hidden target. Layla closed her eyes and listened to the wind, letting her intuition guide her. With a deep breath, she released her final arrow. It soared, a streak of green, and struck a hidden target in the heart of the grand oak tree. The crowd erupted in cheers. As Layla stood victorious, the phoenix approached. Reveal your true self, Emerald Archer, it commanded. Layla removed her mask, revealing her identity. The crowd gasped, and then the applause grew louder. A princess had won the tournament. The king and queen stepped forward, smiling with pride. Layla addressed the kingdom, her voice clear and strong. I am Princess Layla, and I am an archer, she said. Let this be the day we celebrate all of our talents. Layla had not only won the tournament, but she had also won the hearts of her people, proving that one could be both a princess and an athlete. The tale of Princess Layla's courage and skill was told for generations, inspiring young girls to aim high and hit their mark. The End Kimmy and Kiki, A Cupcake Friendship Once upon a time, in a vibrant town, where pastries weren't just treats but lively characters, there lived a unique cupcake named Kimmy. She was the only cupcake in a family of donuts. She tried to fit in, rolling herself in powdered sugar and even attempting a jelly filling, but it just wasn't the same. Kimmy felt alone in a world where everyone else seemed to have their matching dozen. Kimmy used to go to the local dessert school, a bustling place where pastries of all shapes and sizes from her community came to learn. But there were very few cupcakes and she found it hard to blend in. Whether it was during the baking basics class or the frosting seminar, she always stood out, her cupcake nature shining too brightly among pies, cookies, and especially donuts. The loneliness she felt was like a cake left out in the rain, slowly melting away. One morning, the school buzzed with the excitement of a new student's arrival. The newcomer, Kiki, was a cupcake! 
with swirls of vibrant icing and looking just like Kimmy. And she was going to join Kimmy's class. Kimmy got very excited to see someone else in her class looking like her. Their first encounter happened on the school playground in the play recess. Can we be friends? Kimmy asked, her voice hopeful. Kiki's bright icing lit up with a smile. I'd like that, she replied. And just like that, a new friendship began to blossom. Kimmy and Kiki enjoyed doing things together, from painting portraits in art class using icing sugar to twirling in tandem at the school's annual dance. At the school's annual sock hop dance, as they danced under the disco ball, their peers couldn't help but join in. The joy was contagious, spreading through the crowd like warm chocolate spreading on a cold scoop of ice cream. Kimmy and Kiki, in their synchronization and bliss, showed everyone the beauty of their unique friendship. Their friendship began to change perceptions around them. The school community, once so divided by categories and types of desserts, started to see past the labels. Cupcakes, donuts, and all kinds of sweets began to mingle, sharing stories and laughs. Kimmy and Kiki had started a revolution, one of acceptance and understanding. But not all was smooth sailing. The two faced their share of challenges, from group projects gone wrong to misunderstandings that tested their bond. Yet, each obstacle was overcome with a sprinkle of trust, a dollop of forgiveness, and an endless supply of support for one another. They learned the true strength of friendship, as resilient as the toughest cookie and as sweet as the ripest berry. On a hot day at the dessert school playground, Kiki the cupcake began to melt under the sun's intense rays. Without hesitation, Kimmy shared her own white icing to save Kiki, caring little for her own appearance. Their laughter and gratitude echoed, showcasing the depth of their sweet, selfless friendship. Time went by, their lives moved on, and they both grew older, but they always stayed in touch. One fine morning, Kimmy and Kiki climbed to their favorite spot in town, a quiet little hilltop. Reflecting on their life journey, they realized how much they had grown. We may have lost some frosting along the way, Kimmy said, but we found something much more valuable. Kiki nodded, the cherry gleaming in the sun. We found friendship, and that's the sweetest treat of all. So friends remember, it's not our icing or filling that defines us, but the sweetness we bring into each other's lives. The End The Tiny Explorer Mila Mouse Trip Across the United States Once upon a time, in a small city in California in the United States of America, lived a tiny mouse named Mila, well known as the explorer Mila. Unlike other mice who were content with hiding and finding food, Mila's heart yearned for adventure and discovery. Mila wanted to explore the interesting places and learn about the different cultures, history, and foods. So she made a plan to travel all across the United States. The night before the trip, Mila went to bed super excited about starting her mega trip the very next day, setting out on an extraordinary journey across the United States. Oh, it sounds so much fun! We are so excited to go with her on her iconic journey and uncover the wonders of the land and learn about the different states in the United States. So, let's start the journey. In the early morning, Mila got ready super quick and started from her house, but first she needed some breakfast. So, in a sunny San Diego cafe, Mila relishes in the healthy and simple yet delicious pleasure of an avocado toast. After eating, she moves on to her first stop, which is the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, California. Mila stares excitedly at the iconic bridge majestically stretched out behind her. The bridge's red-orange towers contrast beautifully against the clear blue sky with the surrounding waters and the distant San Francisco skyline. Soon, Mila reached the Yosemite National Park in California. She stood in front of the iconic Half Dome, dressed in her hiking gear, ready for adventure. She looks on in awe at the grandeur of the park's natural beauty, with the majestic Yosemite Valley, towering granite cliffs, lush meadows, and the serene Merced River in the background. Mila is very happy as she journeys through one of America's most cherished national parks, 
Next, she stopped at the tall redwood trees in California. With a look of wonder, she gazes upwards at the towering redwood trees, admiring the grandeur and ancient beauty of these towering giants. Heading north, Mila visits the Crater Lake National Park in Oregon, known for its stunning blue water and scenic vistas. Inside the park, she stands at the caldera's edge, looking out over the stunning blue waters of Crater Lake with the spirit of adventure and discovery. The serene waters of the lake reflect the surrounding cliffs and the sky above, highlighting the natural beauty and majesty of one of Oregon's most famous landmarks. Further up, exploring the state of Washington, Mila reaches the exciting city of Seattle. She stands on the observation deck of the Space Needle, overlooking the sprawling city of Seattle and the Puget Sound. The panoramic view from this iconic structure emphasizes the blend of urban life and natural beauty. Then Mila wandered through the bustling Pike Place Market in Seattle, her eyes twinkling with the discovery of colorful produce, artisan goods, and the lively atmosphere of vendors and shoppers. Dressed in casual tourist clothes and holding a shopping bag filled with local treats, Mila embodies the spirit of exploration. She could see the iconic neon sign of Pike Place Market, symbolizing the market's cultural and historical importance with the energy of the shoppers and the sounds of street performers enriching the lively atmosphere of this beloved marketplace. Mila takes a cruise ship to Alaska. She stands on the ship's deck, looking out at the approaching Alaskan landscape with excitement. The ice-capped mountains, dense green forests, and the clear, calm waters of Alaska seem to be calling her. Bundled up in warm gear, Mila stands amid snow-covered mountains and icy glaciers in Alaska, showcasing the rugged beauty and vast wilderness of the state. Venturing to Fairbanks, Alaska, Mila witnesses the awe-inspiring northern lights, also known as Aurora Borealis. She bundles up in warm clothing and observes the colorful lights dancing across the night sky. Mila's next state was Idaho, where she enjoyed the winter wonderland of Sun Valley. Dressed in warm ski gear, she stood ready on a snowy slope with the picturesque landscape of snow-covered mountains and pine trees under a clear blue sky in the background. After the Sun Valley, Mila reached the Shoshone Falls in Idaho, where she marveled at the powerful and majestic waterfall. She captured the awe-inspiring scene as water merged into the Snake River, surrounded by the natural beauty of the landscape. Mila kayaks on the crystal-clear waters of Glacier National Park, surrounded by majestic mountains and pristine wilderness. This adventure showcases the tranquility and unspoiled beauty of one of America's most scenic landscapes. Next, Mila visited her second place in Montana, the Little Bighorn Battlefield. She looked at the monuments and memorials that reminded her of the key events of the battlefield, surrounded by the rolling hills of the landscape. Mila has deep respect for history and eagerness to learn more about America's past. Next, she stopped at the magical realm of Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming State. Amidst the geysers and hot springs, Mila marveled at the beauty of nature's artwork. She learned from the park rangers about the importance of conservation and the delicate balance of ecosystems. As she watched Old Faithful Geyser erupt under the vast blue sky, she felt a deep connection to the earth and its mysteries. Mila's next stop is Mount Rushmore in South Dakota, where Mila, with a camera around her neck, marvels at the monumental faces of Mount Rushmore, reflecting on American history and the figures who have shaped it. Mila's adventures in Minneapolis included a visit to the North Shore with the city's skyline. Standing on the rocky shores of Lake Superior, with the vast lake stretching into the horizon, Mila admires the natural beauty of the North Shore for hours. Venturing north to the Apostle Islands on Lake Superior, Mila was captivated by the pristine natural beauty. She kayaked around the sea caves, their walls echoing with the sound of lapping waves, and camped under the stars on secluded beaches. In Wisconsin, Mila discovered the contrasting beauty of urban Milwaukee and the serene Apostle Islands. In Milwaukee, she marveled at the city's architectural wonders and indulged in its rich brewery heritage, exploring historic beer halls and learning about the local craft. 
Next, we are going to experience Mila's Windy City Adventures in Chicago, Illinois, where she spends a day in Chicago, exploring the Millennium Park to see the bean sculpture, and enjoys a boat tour to learn about the city's iconic architecture along the Chicago River. Mila was very hungry by this time, so she entered a quite dimly lit pizzeria, a warm haven from the bustling city streets in the heart of Chicago. She got a slice of the city's famous deep dish pizza, its thick layers of gooey cheese, rich tomato sauce, and hearty toppings nearly dwarfing the plate it sat on. Mila, wide-eyed and curious, took her first bite, the flavors bursting with every chew, leaving her amazed at the depth of taste encased within the buttery, flaky crust. The cozy atmosphere of the pizzeria, filled with the murmur of content diners and the comforting aroma of baked dough and melting cheese, only added to the charm of this culinary adventure. With a content belly, Mila goes to visit the Art Institute of Chicago. With a palette and brush in hand, she admires the vast collections of art, ranging from ancient artifacts to modern masterpieces. Mila loves creativity and tries to understand the importance of art in human history. Next, Mila heads to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway in Indiana to experience the excitement of the Indianapolis 500. Mila, in the stands, is filled with awe as she observes the high-speed action of the Indianapolis 500. Dressed in racing gear and equipped with binoculars, she's fully immersed in the race's thrilling atmosphere. Surrounded by cheering fans and the iconic features of the speedway, she learns about the history of the race and the technology behind the cars. Next, Mila visits Lake Michigan. Donning a sailor's hat, she navigates a tiny sailboat on the vast blue waters of Lake Michigan, highlighting the joy of exploration and the beauty of the Great Lakes. In Michigan, Mila Mouse's curiosity led her to the vibrant city of Detroit, where she explored the richness of American innovation and art at the renowned museums. Fascinated by the history of the automobile industry at the Henry Ford Museum, Mila marveled at the evolution of mobility. Her journey continued to the picturesque Mackinac Island. Here, she delighted in the absence of cars, traveling by bicycle and horse-drawn carriage along scenic paths. The island's historic charm and the beauty of Lake Huron's shores offered Mila a peaceful stay, and Mila learned about Michigan's unique blend of industrial heritage and natural beauty. Mila's journey took her to the thunderous majesty of Niagara Falls, a spectacle of nature straddling the border between the United States and Canada. Wrapped in a light mist and with the roar of cascading water as her soundtrack, Mila marveled at the fall's sheer power and beauty from the observation deck. The vibrant rainbow that danced across the spray added a magical touch to the scene. Mila took a moment to capture this natural wonder with her camera, ensuring she would always remember the awe-inspiring view. Her visit to Niagara Falls was a highlight of her adventures, a testament to the Earth's raw beauty and power. Brave Little Leo the Jungle Adventure. Hello, little friends. Today, I have a special story for you about a little lion named Leo who lived in the lush greenleaf jungle. Leo was a bright and playful lion cub, but he had one big secret. He was afraid of the dark. Every night, as the sun set and the jungle grew dark, Leo would hide in his den, shivering and scared. The sounds of the jungle at night the hoots of the owls, the rustle of the leaves, and the distant roar of the river made him very nervous. One evening, Leo's friends, Ellie the elephant, Jerry the giraffe, and Zara the zebra noticed that Leo was missing from their nightly play. Concerned, they went to Leo's den and found him in his pajamas. Leo, why don't you come out and play with us? asked Ellie with a gentle smile. I'm scared of the dark. Leo confessed in a small voice. I don't like the strange noises and shadows. We're here with you, Leo. Let's face the dark together, Jerry said, stretching his long neck encouragingly. Zara, with her bright stripes, added, We all get scared sometimes, Leo. But we can be brave together. Feeling a bit braver with his friends by his side, Leo slowly stepped out of his den. The jungle was dark, but the stars and the moon lit up the sky 
casting a gentle glow on the trees. As they walked, Ellie held Leo's paw, Jerry kept a lookout from above, and Zara sang a cheerful song. Together, they explored the jungle, and Leo realized that the noises weren't so scary after all. The hoots were just wise old owls, the rustling leaves were playful monkeys, and the river's roar was singing a jungle lullaby. Suddenly, they heard a small cry for help. It was Benny the bunny, who had lost his way back to his burrow. Leo, feeling braver than ever, said, don't worry, Benny, we'll help you. With his friends behind him, Leo led the way, using his sharp eyes to find Benny's home. Benny hopped happily into his burrow, thanking Leo and his friends. One sunny morning, as the jungle awoke to the songs of birds and the gentle rustling of leaves, a new challenge arose. A group of animals from a neighboring jungle arrived in Greenleaf Jungle. They were in distress, their home threatened by a mysterious shadow that loomed at night. Hearing their plight, Leo felt a surge of determination. He remembered his own fear of the dark and how he had overcome it with the help of his friends. We must help them, Leo declared. His friends nodded in agreement, ready to lend their support. Led by Leo, the group embarked on a journey to the neighboring jungle. As they traveled, Leo shared his story of overcoming fear encouraging the visiting animals with his words of bravery. Ellie, Jerry, and Zara offered comfort and strength, reminding them that together they could face any challenge. As night fell, they reached the neighboring jungle. The mysterious shadow appeared, larger and more intimidating than they had imagined. The visiting animals trembled, but Leo stood firm, his heart filled with resolve. We face this together, he roared softly, his voice a beacon of hope in the dark. With cautious steps, they approached the shadow. To their surprise, they discovered it was not a monster, but the shadow of a great tree, twisted in such a way that it cast a frightening shape in the moonlight. The visiting animals sighed in relief, their fear melting away. They realized that the shadow was harmless and their jungle was safe. After their grand celebration under the stars, Leo and his friends were known throughout Greenleaf Jungle for their bravery and kindness. The once timid little lion had become a symbol of courage, inspiring animals all around. As dawn broke, the two jungle communities celebrated their newfound friendship. Songs of joy and laughter echoed through the trees, and the once feared shadow became a symbol of their unity. Back in Greenleaf Jungle, Leo and his friends were greeted with cheers and admiration for their bravery and kindness. The neighbors thanked them. The animals told Leo that they had also learned a lesson in facing their fears and the power of friendship. From that day on, Leo was no longer just the little lion who overcame his fear of the dark. He was a leader, a friend, and a hero to all in the jungles. His story of courage continued to inspire, reminding everyone that no matter how big or small, Everyone has the power to overcome their fears and make a difference in the world. And so, in the heart of the lush greenleaf jungle, Leo and his friends continued to live, laugh, and embark on new adventures, forever bound by their unbreakable spirit of courage and friendship. The End